And welcome back this Sunday. It's a very important event. It's called Syrians for Peace. And with us right now to say hello, the founder and president, Humans of Peace Institution, Dr. Jamal Sharif. Nice to have you here, doctor. Nice to meet you. Uh, we also have a Muhammad Ali and uh, a friend. Nice to meet you. Uh, NASA? Massa. 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 Yes. Hello, Massa. Oh, <laughs> how are you? Good. Doesn't speak yet, I guess. No, not okay. yet. <laughs> no. Okay, so this is a very important event happening on Kent Street. And uh, uh, doctor, can you tell us what Humans oh. for Peace, the institution, is all about? Uh, Humans for Peace Institution, it's an organization, it's a non-for-profit organization, and it's uh, volunteer-driven. Uh, it's uh, organized by peace lover, uh, human, uh, uh, human rights uh, advocates, and we are trying to promote and increase the individual and social uh, awareness uh, between, among, uh, especially new immigrants okay. in Canada. So extremely important. Okay, Mohammed, can you tell us uh, then how long you've been a part of this institution? Um, around two years ago. Two years. So, yeah. what does it mean to you to be a part of this? What? Okay. So what does it mean for you to be a part of this institution? Yeah. Institution. Um, to I be a part. Yes. How important is it for you? To yeah, be a part because of this? Uh, I believe in institution. Yeah. Okay. I believe that, and uh, mm. uh, I'm very active. Uh, I want. Uh, I look for uh, institution very active here in Ottawa. Okay. Important. Okay, uh, doctor, can you tell us then uh, why? So why exactly is this event happening on Sunday? Well, this is a, uh, this event. It's actually an initiative to engage the newcomer Syrians uh, with the mainstream Canadian societies uh, by giving back. Uh, so the proceeds of these uh, painting and the ticket sales will go to the Canadian Bank Services okay. and to the Ottawa Inuit Children's Centre. Oh, good. Okay, so very important as well. Uh, so, what exactly will be taking place on Sunday? Obviously, we see some paintings, some amazing stuff. But uh, if people were to attend, what would they be uh, seeing? We have three main components. So the first one is the, an art gallery. Uh, these are forty paintings painted by uh, young ladies. Uh, okay. We are also uh, important for us the empowerments of these newcomers, ladies. Uh, the second component is food testing. It's done by an older ladies. Um, so all the food is Syrian, and the third component is an, uh, an art uh, show by singing and um, uh, dancing, like mm -hmm. the folk dance and folk music, uh, done by a group called Arabesque. It's a Syrian group, and Children for Peace, which is a part of our institution. Too. Okay. Now, Mohammed, can you tell us uh, which one of these amazing paintings were, was done by a very young lady? Yeah. A very young lady. As a matter of fact, you have the very young lady with right. you. Uh, can you tell us which one she drew? Uh, this is my daughter, Masa. Yeah, of course. Uh, when I uh, drawing uh, uh, Masa coming uh, around me and look for colors and uh, look for brush, and uh, and I uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, maybe uh, I. Which which painting did she this do? One? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. So this one. So yeah. This is the painting. This one. The okay. Done by Massa. So how long did it take for this masterpiece to be created? How long? How long? <laughs> uh, no, maybe fourteen minutes. Fourteen minutes. <laughs> fourteen minutes. Okay, yeah. that's that's good. She's yeah. fast. She's fast. It looks yeah. good. It's just somebody who's been doing it for yeah. twenty years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doctor, can you tell us about the other paintings that we see? Who would be some of the artists? As you see, most of the paintings are actually. Uh, Looking into the women's empowerments, we have one here, which is uh, showing the faces of the women in the Middle East and uh, over here. Okay. Uh, this is a painting done by also one of our uh, ladies. It's actually uh, imitation of uh, indigenous art, mm -hmm. and uh, we would like to increase this uh, reconciliation between uh, the newcomers and the indigenous people. But this one, this is the closest one to my heart because uh, for somebody it could be a number of heads over here. It's just okay. how many people in this boat. But for someone who's on this boat or who's going from with this experience, it's, it's really a matter of life of death. Mm -hmm. Matter of risking your family, trying to uh, find a secure and safe place for them. Okay. 
Very deep, very, very important. Uh, so how would people be able to get a, a hold of these paintings? So they would, is there an auction? Is there just a, a ticket price for each one? Uh, yes, we will have uh, tickets for the event. It's on our website, humanspeace.org. And we also uh, gonna hold an auction for these uh, paintings. It's auction.humanspeace.org. Okay. They will be for a month online. And after that, we will contact the winners and uh, handle okay. them. Uh, Canadian Blood Services as well, you're, you're doing your, it's an important cause for you. Yes, uh, we have. We were looking for long-term uh, cooperation with the Canadian Blood Services. We're actually organizing on the April 14th uh, National Canadian Blood Days by the Syrian refugees in 14 cities so far. Okay. And we are trying to make this as an annual event. Okay, wonderful. Uh, not many tickets are available as well for this event on on Sunday. We have only 40 left. Wow. Uh, we had 300, uh, like 260 fold. So. Well, congratulations on Thank that. You. Thank you. It's going to be a lot of fun. What time does it all get underway? Uh, it will be from 5 to 9.30. And that's uh, located at 397 Kent Street. Correct. All right. Did you have fun on TV? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Lots of fun? <laughs> Thank you very much, Mohammed, and the uh, doctor as well for being here. Just want here. to say one thing. Uh, in our organization, we believe in one motto that uh, no matter what color is your skin, no matter what language do you speak, no matter what religion you believe in, uh, as far as you call this earth your home, we call you family. Thank you. That's wonderful. So, Beautiful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you very much for being here. More daytime coming up on Rogers TV.